Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Zemonix channel. Today we're building the high grade Gundam seed, the Blue Dew Gundam. So it's from the movie, uh, the uh, Gundam Seed uh, Stargazer CE73, and this is the just a customized version of the Dew Gundam that uh, piloted by uh, that owned by the team of uh, the Pandem Pain. And this is the suit, and you know that's the cover, and that's the side. It tells you all the actions, and it even show you a real product that without paints. And at the side, we got the the pilot information and the and a little quote here, and a and the pictures of the mobile suit. So when we open it, we'll see some we'll see some gun parts, and we'll see some. I got uh, we got the hands we got the uh, the guns the the waist parts we got a action base and a poly cap we got the beam sabers the shield the feet the stickers and uh, other parts and we got a shield the legs joint the sh uh, the shoulders the front waist rear waist uh, we got the uh, the back booster and the extra armor. And then at the bottom of it, we got an instruction book that uh, when we open it, it tells you all the color guide, it tells you the uh, movement and the mechanism. And at the back, we got the how do you uh, put it on the action base. And when we open it, we'll see the instruction in here. So, you know, I am building a pretty old kit now. So, uh, I'm gonna see you at the review and let's see how this kit works. Alright, so welcome back to the review of the Blue Dew. So this is the finishing of the Blue Dew. As you can see, uh, it's probably it, this got, if I didn't remember it wrong, this gunpla was came out at probably 2005 or 2006. I couldn't really exactly remember which it is, but it was probably uh, it's like 12, 12 or 13 years ago, and is. It still looks pretty good in my opinion. It's just there's a lot of stickers being used in this unit, so I'm just gonna say where to use. So at the waist parts, the chest, the shoulders, the uh, gun, uh, the the uh, add-on weapon, and the shield. Uh, basically, every orange pieces on this mobile suit is by stickers, and also at the back we have this huge, huge sticker at the back and on the thruster as well. So you know. 
it 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 takes a lot of stickers. Yes, so uh, for me it looks it still looks pretty good for an old kid. I I I, feel, I still think it was looking pretty good. So I'm just talking about the movement. So for years, so the uh, so the shoulder 360 movement no problem. Uh, you couldn't really lift up the arm because uh, there's an add on uh, armor here, so you couldn't really lift up the arm. Uh, arms can bend for 90 degrees, and the this part is spinnable and the back there's a little handgun here you can just take it out like this you can just kind of take it out like this okay so it takes a bit of work no, it takes a bit of work so anyway you just couldn't it just could take it out like this you know, and you can there you go and then you can have it I don't know why this piece keep falling off so it kind of pisses me off when that happens so you know just be aware there's a back part here it keeps fell off and it's really annoying me yep there we go it's back now so as you can see you can hold a gun and for the head uh you couldn't really do 360 because there's a add-on armor at the shoulder you couldn't really do that uh shield the shield uh you couldn't do 360 because there's a there's a railgun block in it the railgun could move to the front and it is really good and the waist Ways uh, you couldn't you couldn't do the 360 because uh, there's a couple joint here is stick together and the legs uh, still really bendable for an old kid. It's really bendable for an old kid and and I am pretty happy about the legs movement and you know the legs the the feet uh, doesn't really move 360. It probably just move for about like 30 40 degrees and the waist part is an each individual piece, uh, an individual piece, so it can move freely once you have one leg up. And for me, I need to complain one thing. Uh, first, the stickers were using a bit much, so I'm afraid the stickers by the time, like probably like a couple years later, the stickers will fall off. Two, I, I, uh, this suit have a little bit of standing problem, so it does have like a standing problem, but I, I don't think it's that that bad, so I don't think that's gonna be affecting on my stand posing. Next we're gonna talk about some accessories. So first they will come with you a um a do Gundam's um rival but you're not really gonna use it because it doesn't really match because you uh, it already got the handgun on. Two they do give you a beam pair of beam saber effect pass or if we'll just take out the other one. Um, so they did give you a pair of uh, the beam saber effect power. Yeah, as you can see, it just couldn't really stand well. And three, they do give you a hand uh, molded together with the um, with the uh, I, I'm not sure what they call. It's like a throwing dagger weapon. They did give you a molded hand, which you can uh, put it on the put it on the uh, right hand as well. So this this here, my friend, it does have a opening. It does have an opening design, which I just broke it. So as you can see, if you remove the piece and you pluck it back on, you can achieve the uh, the uh, the, the uh, dagger part, the throwing dagger part being opened. And you know, you can just basically just put it back easily like this. And couldn't really do on, couldn't really have anything to do without that. All right, I'm gonna time to wrap it up. I think this suit in a it was a old kid, of course, and but I think it does did a good job on the um, on the colors. It does get, do a good job. If they're not using that much sticker, it would be a really good job. And they also have the those uh, parts falling off because they couldn't really stay together, and they also have a standing problem. And but uh, for me, uh, if you really just gonna mess around with that, I think it's gonna be okay because this suit um, honestly it doesn't look it doesn't look bad. It looks very good and I like it, especially like the weapon design on the mobile suit as well. And I would say this suit, uh, you might need to uh, think about how do you solve these uh, standing problem. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else that's going to bother you. The stickers, are, stickers are fine for now, they're still fine. And I would say um, it's, a really good, it's a really good gamble and it's very worth to play. So. So this is the end of the video, hope you guys like it, and please be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time in another Gunplug review. Goodbye.